Hi everyone! Welcome to Enjoy English School. I'm Steven. Hello, I'm Bernice. And today's date is May fifteenth. We're going to be talking about fresh and new. 嗯，我们要继续讲到我们这个先睹为快的这个消息。All right. So the topic we're going to be continuing talking about is ghost kitchens, and we're covering pages thirty-four to thirty-five today. 好，我们就继续上一次的话题了，讲到这个幽灵厨房。Right. So today we're going to learn about、um, how ghost kitchens have pros and cons. 嗯，其实呢，幽灵厨房当然有一些它的好处跟它的坏处。Yeah, there's a good and bad to everything, right?、Yeah. So let's find out more about that today. 嗯哼。While there are no lost souls in a ghost kitchen, there are some cons. 嗯，就是我们刚才不是讲了吗？幽灵厨房很多人以为，哇，里面是不是真的有鬼鬼呢 ？No， 其实不是的。他就说呢，虽然其实呢，在这些幽灵厨房里面，不是真的有这些鬼鬼，呃，这些亡魂，我们把它称之为亡魂。那可是呢，其实它是有一些这个不好的地方，有一些 disadvantages， 就是有些缺失的。Right, so this sentence is just being playful by saying there are no lost souls in a ghost kitchen. It's still trying to play on the fact that they are called ghost、mm. kitchens, right?、Mm-hmm. So because everyone's first thought is a haunted kitchen, yeah, right? 就是大家以为是闹鬼了，其实不是的。Uh, but it's what it's really saying is while there are pros in a ghost kitchen, there、mm-hmm. are some cons as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. 就是有好处也有坏处 Mm-hmm. And because there's、uh, the ending of the sentence is talking about cons, we know that what follows are going to be the cons that、mm-hmm. they're going to talk about. Mm-hmm. Although many people, but、well, although many look <laughs> at ghost, I said people because、yeah. it means many people. Yes. Although many look at ghost kitchens as a positive development.、Mm-hmm. There are some negative aspects as well. 嗯，同学这边又看到一个连接词叫 although， 这个也是要虽然，尽管如此，跟刚才的第一句话的那个 while， 其实他们意思是一样的。他说呢，虽然很多人呢 ，many people， 他们把这些 ghost kitchens， 就是这些幽灵厨房呢，视为什么 ？Look at something as something， 就是这边的 look at 就可以把它换成 view，v i e w， 或者你换成 regard 的都可以，就是把。这些幽灵厨房呢，视为一种 positive， 就是他觉得是正面的一种 development， 一种发展。但是呢，其实还是有一些人他抱持的是 negative， 刚好两个相反词，就是他认为是负面的一些方面。好，尤其呢 ，as well， 就是也这么认为。Exactly. So as well, you could use the word too, t o o as well. And I think it's really cute because this writer, they were afraid that the first sentence would throw people off, so、mm-hmm. they wrote the second sentence, which means the same exact thing as the first sentence,、mm-hmm. to make sure that people know exactly what he's trying to、mm-hmm. say. Yeah. Okay. And then don't forget, many people look. So sometimes people, you can take that word out because everyone knows that you're talking about people. Okay.、Mm-hmm. One is the cost to the environment. 好，下面他就要开始举例啦。到底为什么有些人认为是正面，有些人认为是负面的呢？就是第一个，他认为就是 the cost， 就是这边的 cost 就不是花钱了，而是一个代价。什么样的代价呢？对于我们的环境来说 ，right? Because it's 对于环境 That's why there's a preposition to in that. Okay, so cost to the environment. And one, this word is talking about the aspects. Okay, so the aspects is just Another way to say part, negative part as、mm-hmm. well. So the, the first part is the cost to the environment. Oh, so it's bad for the environment. 对 ，take out food is incredibly wasteful. 嗯，为什么说它是呃负面的这样的一个一个方面呢？就是因为你这些外卖的这个食物呢，其实它是非常非常的 incredibly， 就是 extremely 啊，非常非常的浪费。Mm-hmm. And if you heard Bernice 老师 when she said extremely and incredibly, because this is an adverb, a lot of times in English when we're pronouncing adverbs, we'll make it sound longer or more dramatic because we're trying to emphasize how bad or how great Great, it is so incredibly、mm-hmm. wasteful. Makes the listener realize that it's very, very, very wasteful.、Mm-hmm. And wasteful, it just means 真的很浪费 Yeah. Right. Waste, waste 就是垃圾 Yeah. Full 呢就是充满的充满了充满了垃圾就是 wasteful 非常的浪费 Yeah. Plates, bowls, chopsticks, 
forks and knives are all used only once. 嗯，同学，你可以看到这个句子接着下面这个句子的，你可以发觉写作的人呢，他的写作逻辑非常好。嗯，当你要你要跟人家讲说，哇，这个东西好浪费，怎样浪费，你要告诉我，对不对？所以他下面开始举例了，比如说，你看一堆的盘子，还有呢，好多好多的碗筷啦，通通都出现叉子啦、刀子啦，这些通通都必须怎么样？被使用，而且只使用怎么样一次？嗯哼。So knife, if it's singular, it's K N I F E. Make sure that K is not pronounced; it's silent. Okay.、Mm -hmm. So the plural form changes the F to V.、Okay? Yeah. So pay attention to that. With climate change on everyone's mind,、mm -hmm. can we afford to keep producing more waste? Uh、mm、huh. -hmm. 这个 with 这个介词就是表示有这样的一个状况。有什么样的状况呢？就是 climate change， 就是我们现在全球都遇到的状况，就是这个气候的这样的一个改变。这个改变呢，在每一个人的心房上，意思就是说，大家都在担心，都在担忧这样的一个 climate change 这样的一个状况的时候呢，你觉得我们大家还可以 afford to， can afford to， 就是你可以负担得起吗？你可以承担得起吗？这样子的一个状况，什么样的状况？就是一直持续不断的制造出更多更多的垃圾。Right, and one quick thing I want to mention: when in Chinese we say 在我们心里在想 right, but in English we say on everyone's mind.、Mm. Okay, so in American Western culture, when we're thinking about things, 我们心里有事的时候，我们那个心里其实是脑袋。嗯，那其实，在我们的华人文化，我们讲心里是很像在心里在想。Yeah, yeah. So this is a cultural difference. All right, let's take a short break. Okay. Others or other people、mm -hmm. are afraid of more than just the waste associated with food delivery. 好 ，others 就是其他的，还有一些人，因为我们刚才呢前面一段有讲到，有些人认为说，哎，这样子对于环境上面呢是一种这样的很大的影响，负面的影响。那还有一些人，他们担心，他们所害怕的呢，不仅仅只是 more than just， 就是不仅仅只是那些垃圾。什么样的垃圾呢？是跟这个 food delivery， 就是这些外送的这个食物。所呢 ，associated 就是指它的有这个关联性所造成、所引起的这样的一些垃圾。Right, so are afraid of. So make sure you have the word of to go with afraid and to say what you're afraid of. Yeah. Okay. So the waste. This word actually in English, a lot of times we pronounce it. Without the T sound,、mm. we'll say waste associated with.、Mm -hmm. Okay, sometimes you'll hear that, but then the、uh, the proper way is with the T sound, waste.、Mm. Okay, so more than just the waste associated or connected with food delivery. Okay, so that's just another way to say connected with. Mm-hmm. 好，所以这个有关联，我们可以换成 connected. C O N N E C T. They worry that ghost kitchens' advantages may also be their downfall. 嗯，这个 they 是指谁呢？就是刚才前面这一些在担忧说，哎，这些垃圾啊，这个从外送食物不只是不仅仅只是从这个外送食物所产生垃圾的这一些人，他们也担心说呢，这一些幽灵的厨房呢，他们的 advantages。刚才前面我们不是讲过了吗？缺点叫 dis， 前面加 d i s。那现在这个就是。它的优势，它的优点，也可能会怎么样呢？变成他们的这个所谓的 downfall， 就是他们的衰败的一个一个原因。Exactly. So advantage, another word that we used earlier was pro, p r o.、Mm. So like Renee 老师刚刚讲那个 con， 你可以是 disadvantage。那 disadvantage 怎么拼？就是直接在 advantage 前面加 d i s， d i s a d v a n t a g e， 超长的一个字。Right. <laughs>、yes. These businesses can't exist without delivery services,、mm -hmm. which are being dominated by companies like Uber Eats, Food Panda, and Deliveroo. 嗯，好，接下来他就说，这一些像刚才上面讲的这一些的这一些产业呢，这一些这个外送的这个服务的产业，他们是不可能会存在，如果没有同学，你看到双重否定，其实负负得正的，就说他们一定要因为后面的事情，他们才能存在。好，因为什么事情呢？就是这个 delivery services， 就是他们一定要有一些这些外送的服务，他们的生意生意才能够存在
。那接下来他又讲的是什么东西？他说，而且这些生意是什么样的生意呢？这些 companies 现在已经变成一种这种 dominated， 就是他被他们把持住，被他们统治住了、控制住了。例如像哪一些的，像 Uber Eats 啦，像 Food Panda 啦。还有这个 deliver 呃、uh, deliver root 这些这些公司。So dominate this verb it means to control.、Mm. Okay, C O N T R O L. But dominate is kind of like a more severe form of control.、Mm. It means like you're total con- you have total control over、mm-hmm. something. So B is dominated by A. Okay, so A 在控制 B 的意思。对 ，Okay. Now, more and more ghost kitchens are set up and owned by those delivery services. 嗯，而现在呢，越来越多这样的一些啊、呃，这个所谓的幽灵厨房呢，也开始怎么样呢 ？Set up， 他们开始要呃被成立了，被成立呢，并且呢，还要怎么样呢？所以同学看到这边有被动式哈 ，are set up， 跟后面那个 and 是 are owned。好，两个那个那个后面的二被省略掉了，也被这一些所谓的我们讲的外送服务呢给设立跟拥有。嗯哼 ，All right, so um set up another word that we could use is establish. 嗯哼 ，E S T A B L I S H establish 也是建立的意思。Yes. Okay, so both of these mean the same thing. Delivery apps control what customers see. 嗯，这一些外送的这些应用的城市呢，以及你看，它就换成 control 了。刚才用 dominate， 现在就换成这个控制 control 这个字了。他们现在呢，也控制了什么东西呢？例如说，像这些啊、uh, ，customers， 就是我们一般顾客能够看得到的东西。Right, so I don't know about in Chinese, but in English, because there are so many different words for one meaning,、mm. we try not to use the same words too many times、yeah. in one paragraph.、Mm-hmm. Maybe you can use it at least、uh, at most one or two times,、mm. but if you're using the same word like three or four or five times,、mm. then the best way to learn new words is to go on the internet. And look up a thesaurus.、Mm-hmm. Okay, thesaurus. T h e s a u r u s. Thesaurus. So what a thesaurus is? Oh, that's like a big circle. We're going to talk about thesauruses. Are like dictionaries, but、mm-hmm. instead of telling you the definition of a word, you can input a word. Let's say control.、Mm-hmm. And once you hit the word enter. Then you'll find different words that also mean control,、mm. but are different words to say the same thing. So、yeah. then you can make your paragraph seem more colorful and have different words, and you can learn new words in the process. 对，所以 Stephen 老师是告诉同学，你们在写作啦或讲英文都是一样的，不要一直重重复的使用那些你已经很熟知的字了。可以试着看看，可以用一些不同的字，那它的意思是差不多的。像我们英文另外一个我们叫 synonyms， 就是一些同。同义字，那你可以把这些字呢互相的替换，这样子呢，你的用字遣词就会比较有很多的多样性。Exactly. All right. Uh, because of this, okay. Because and this is talking about how delivery apps are controlling、mm-hmm. what customers see. Because of this, a company that owns both app and kitchen has a lot of power to、mm. influence customers' decisions. Consumer has customer. consumers' decisions. There you go. <laughs> Because consumer. consumers are people、yeah. who consume, and they are also customers. Yes. So that's why these two words are very, very related. 没错。好，我们来看一下 ，because of 一样是表示原因了。后面记得接的是名词。他说，就是因为这样子的一个原因。什么样的原因？就是讲刚才上面讲的这样的一些啊、呃，外送的应用程式呢，他们就是因为可以掌控着消费者所能看到的东西，就是因为这个原因呢。而且同时呢，他们还怎么样？ That 这个 company that owns both， 他们不但的拥呃不但拥有这个 app， 就是这些应用程式，而且他们也拥有这些厨房的这些公司。那么他们当然对于影响这些消费者的决定就有很大很大的这个影响力了。Exactly. If ghost kitchens owned by these companies dominate the market, then opportunities for small Independent businesses may shrink. 对啊，同学，你看，如果都被这些呃所谓的主要的呃主控的这些公司所控制住的话，所以他就说，如果这些幽灵厨房真的就是被这一些公司给这个控制所把持的话呢，那么这些小型的独立式的这样的一种比较小型的这个呃餐厅的话呢，他们就餐厅的机会生存的机会就可能会 shrink。就像你洗衣服有没有一些很高贵的衣服，你把它随便丢到洗衣机洗，它就变小了。So 
小，对不对？所以刚刚他说这些 companies 就是 Uber Eats、Food Panda 跟 Deliveroo， 如果他们 dominate 那个 market 那个整个市场的话，这些 small independent businesses 这些小然后又独立的 business 它会变缩小。那 small and independent 它是两个不同的形容词，所以平常在中间我们会放个 comma， 对，唯一有几种一个例子是不需要放 comma， 是如果有几种一个是一个颜色，嗯，比如说 a white a small white company，、嗯、颜色的中间就不用放 comma 了，这、嗯、个、就是个很奇怪的英文文法，<笑>但是就是有这样子的文法的一个 rule。Yeah, right. Okay， let's take a short break。Okay。As long as people continue to order out, ghost kitchens will become more pop, more common. 好，他说呢 ，as long as 不是像什么一样长，<笑> right. 这边就是只要这样子 ，only 只要这样子。如果人们呢，只要他们持续的 continue to， 就是你持续去做这件事情，什么样的事情呢？就是订购这些外食的话呢，那么这些幽灵厨房呢，就会变得当然越来越普遍了。Right. Most likely, the industry will grow quickly in the next few years. 嗯，这边的 most likely 就是在形容下面这整个句子，它的意思就是说，哎，这个最有可能的现象就是是什么呢？就是这样子的一种产业，这种外送的这个产业呢，会在之后 ，OK， the next 就接下来的几年之中呢，会成长的很迅速。Right, it's a very good transition to kind of introduce. The chances of something happening.、Mm -hmm. Okay, so most likely, how will it be? How will it be? So it's a very good way to、uh, transition into that. So okay. 慢慢 pay attention to 这些不一样的 transition， 因为有的时候在英文你在讲一个 idea， 你突然又讲第二个 idea， 然后中间没有那个 transition， 可能听者会有一点没有办法一直跟上你的你的步骤、嗯。对，所以稍微就是要学习这些 pay attention 到这些 transition。我觉得在学新的语言，很多很多人会就是疏忽这些 transition words，、yeah. 不是非常非常重要。嗯、OK， so when will they grow？ They will grow in the next few years。But for those worried about problems。Posed by this growing trend, eating out or cooking in your. Own kitchen may be a better option. 嗯，一样是一个很长的句子。他说，可是呢，对于那些人，什么样的人呢 ？Who are worried about? 他们在担心怎么样？这些问题，这些问题是从哪来的呢 ？Which are posed by? 好，就是因为由这些问题，这个 pose 的意思呢，就是指它引发出这样的一些问题。被什么呢？这样子的一股 growing trend， 就是这股增长的这个外送的这个趋势的这样的一些问题。题呢？那么你还不如怎么样 ？Eating out， 或者是在你自己家里面煮饭，这整个是你的主词。这样子的一个动作呢，可能还是一个比较怎么样 ？Better， 比较好的一个 option， 一个 choice， 一个选择。Right， and then the may be a better option. Uh, uh, this word may be. That's two different words. It's two verbs,、mm. and it means a possibility. Okay, so、um, some people might get that confused with the adverb maybe. Yeah, right. M a y b e. 合在一起的。当然，这个两个用法不一样。那 adverb 就是一个字的 m a y b e。你可以说，比如说 he will maybe come later. 嗯、mm. ，Okay. 但是如果一样的意思，我可以说 he may be coming later.、Mm -hmm. 那这个的第二个 sentence 它就是两个不同的字了。Right. Okay. 它讲一个。Possibility. Okay, so just 稍微要注意一下，他们两个的用法不一样。Okay, 一个是两个动词，所以要分开；一个是一个副词，会摆在一起，它用法会不一样。然后 posed by this growing trend 呢，其实你可以说 caused by this growing trend。所以如果你觉得 posed 这个 posed by this problem 还是 posed by this trend， 你觉得这个动词有点难懂，你可以用 cause c a u s e。Okay， 那其实像这种 delivery services 呢？它是很方便 ，they're very convenient，、yes. 没有错。但是像有一些国家，像在美国，很多人需要很多 waitress 还是 waiter，、mm. 他需要人家就是 like dine in。Yes。但是现在的人就是越来越 convenient 为主，他们就比较不想出门。对，因为总是要 tips 嘛，对不对？ Mm. 那你如果都是 delivery 的话，那这些 waiters 或 waitresses 他们可能就缺乏这个 tips。Yeah, right. 在另外一个是，你知道每次我们 order 这些。
delivery service.、Uh-huh. 那些那些餐厅其实也要给这些 delivery service up to forty percent, fifty percent. 嗯，那个整个钱。Mm-hmm. 所以其实这些 dominators, these companies, Uber Eats, Food Panda, and Deliveroo. I mean, they're great companies. They really are convenient. But、yeah. sometimes, like the price might go up because they're gonna be、uh, the restaurant has to charge more so they can actually make money too. 嗯，这就像我们刚才之前讲的，这样子一个产业，它就是有它的 pros and cons.、Mm, exactly.、Mm-hmm. All right, let's go into the review. Okay. All right, Bernice Law. So when I say that everything has a pro and con, what is、mm-hmm. a pro and con? Pro 的话就是指好的部分，那么 cons 就是指不好的部分。Right, and then don't forget, pro 有可以讲 advantage,、mm-hmm. con 有可以讲 disadvantage.、Mm. Okay, and what is an aspect? Aspect 就是某个方面。Exactly, and associated with. Something、mm-hmm. 就是与什么有关联了。You you can also say connected with. Okay.、Mm-hmm. All right. Then if I say that there are companies that are dominating the food delivery service, what does dominate mean? 对 ，dominate 就是 control 的另外一个意思，就是主控、掌控住的。Yeah, like a very powerful control.、Mm-hmm. All right. And these companies are set up to make money. Set up、mm-hmm. is 就是建立的意思。You could also use the word establish. Yeah. And then I made a mistake earlier to say customer when I tried to say consumer. <laughs>、uh-huh. Can you tell the difference between customer and consumer? Customer, 我们就讲顾客 Consumer 就是这些消费者 ，OK， 花钱的那些人。OK， and what is a trend? Trend 就是一种趋势。OK， thank you guys so much for joining us today. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. <音楽>第三十四页，先睹为快。餐饮服务的新潮流，幽灵厨房。Ghost kitchen. While there are no lost souls in a ghost kitchen, there are some cons. Although many look at ghost kitchens as a positive development, there are some negative aspects as well. One is the cost to the environment. Takeout food is incredibly wasteful. Plates. Bowls, chopsticks, forks, and knives are all used only once. With climate change on everyone's mind, can we afford to keep producing more waste? Others are afraid of more than just the waste associated with food delivery. They worry that ghost kitchens' advantages may also be their downfall. These businesses can't exist without delivery services. Which are being dominated by companies like Uber Eats, Food Panda, and Deliveroo. Now, more and more ghost kitchens are set up and owned by those delivery services. Delivery apps control what customers see. Because of this, a company that owns both app and kitchen has a lot of power to influence consumers' decisions. If ghost kitchens owned by these companies dominate the market. Then opportunities for small, independent businesses may shrink. As long as people continue to order out, ghost kitchens will become more common. Most likely, the industry will grow quickly in the next few years. But for those worried about problems posed by this growing trend, eating out or cooking in your own kitchen may be a better option.